Hello everyone, this is my very first time uploading a video on the 29th of February. I love leap days for a bunch of different reasons. But just a couple of days ago was my birthday, uh, as you can see right here. Yep, I support myself quite a bit of sweet loot uh, that interestingly actually described me quite well as a person. So uh, I thought, why not? Let's unbox it together. It'll almost be as if you're at this birthday party with me and seeing the stuff that I got. Uh, if you enjoy this stuff, please chuck us a subscribe. That always helps. But otherwise, let's get into it. Okay, let's start with the only one that didn't come in a box. This is a hoodie, as you might be able to tell, as a gift from my wife. But not just any hoodie. You ready? It is a bubble tea hoodie. It was so cute. She actually made me a bubble tea cake as well, which is the coolest thing on earth. Uh, but yeah, this came from redbubble.com and I love it. It's nearly winter here in Australia. Well, okay, not really nearly in a few more months. And I cannot wait to rock this. Anyway, thank you so much wife, you're amazing. And my next gift to some from my kids was a Rubik's cube in a shoe box. Oh, you know what this is. This is Puma's co collaboration with Rubik's uh, to create a Rubik style like sports shoes. Let's take a look at what's inside. I will confess when I first heard about these shoes, I expected it to just sort of be like, you know, a square sort of block pattern around the whole thing. But instead, they decided to go for something really wild. I mean, how crazy is that? It looks a little bit like someone dropped a few cans of paint on um, like a pair of shoes, but I mean, come on, it's pretty cool. There's also a spare pair of shoelaces here oh, with these colors, red and blue. I wonder what the default ones are. Oh, green and yellow. How about this one? Oh yeah, same. Green, yellow. Nice. Let's take a closer look at these guys. I'm digging those little um, cubes over there in the top part of the shoelace. There are different colors on that one. And yeah, it just uses all the colors, oh, even on the sole, it's so good. All those, you know, six colors of the Rubik's Cube. Oh, there is a square little design there. I was wrong, very nice. And one thing that I actually quite like, even though it's a bit wacky, it's just a different like, look, there's like different stitching, on, like every single piece that's attached. It really is like a bit of a random hodgepodge of stuff. It actually sort of works, like this weird randomness of the colors. I wonder what it looks like, like if you were running in it. Little cube on the sole, nice touch. What does that say? RSX, cool. I'm guessing that's the type of shoe that this is. Running system, hey? Oh, and just like on the top, uh, the different like patches of the colors in the sole. Oh, like the different pattern as well. It's so random, but yeah, it's fun. And a cool little Rubik's logo on the back. A nice little touch. Shoes feel a little bit on the heavy side, but I'm probably not going to be running around a lot of them. I mean, they're more like a collector's item, hey. Anyway, thank you kids so much for them, I really appreciate it. And yeah, probably going to be wearing these kicks to some upcoming comps. Alright, on with the next one. These, my friends, are Star Wars playing cards, which I actually only have because of one of you. I was trying to search for that comment. I think it happened during a live chat or something during a video, but someone told me that you had recently gotten these and they were amazing uh, from a company called Theory 11. And I was like, cool, I'll check them out. And I love them. So I sort of bought them for myself and I've been waiting for my birthday to open them. But yeah, I'm so keen. So let's do just that. Man, the details on this. Let's actually take a look at it before we open it. So this is the red one. <laughs> the power of the dark side, as you can see. That's a Death Star right there. Very nice. Two red lightsabers. Ooh. Yep, Theory 11. Lucasfilm, made in the USA. Oh, another one. Now I am the master. Blue one with two blue lightsabers. <laughs> R2-D2's dome right there. What does this one say? May the force be with you, of course. And luminous beings, are we? Where does that come from? Is it a line from a movie? Maybe one of the like TV series? Anyway, let's open these. So if you didn't already know this, I am happen to be a card collector. I have almost every single pair of like a pack of like bicycle cards that exist. I've got like, yeah, a lot of them. Very, very excited to be owning these as well. Ooh, they're slippery, very nice. Star Wars, very nice, a nice token playing card. And then any other extra cards? No, that's it. Whoa, let's see what they're like to fan. Hey, that's quite nice. I am so rusty with my card handling skills. But, whoa, so exciting. So these are the light side ones. Oh, I've got BB-8 there with his nice little thumbs up as the Joker. And Dio, the new droid from Rise of Skywalker. 
Oh, an X-Wing and the Ace of Spades. I'm loving that. Some nice little details there. And all the spades. And then, oh yes! Oh my goodness. So it seems like on all the court cards um, are actual characters. That's, um, I'm guessing, maybe Django Fett, Bounty Hunter. It's Jack of Spades. Queen Amidala, Queen of Spades. And Vader himself as the King of Spades. Oh yes! And that's Django Fett's ship right there. Was it Boba Fett? Oh, both of them. And the Ace of Diamonds. Who do we have here? We've got Lando Calrissian, uh, Rey, and Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Yay, as the king. And then on the clubs we have, oh, the Emperor. Um, oh, what's her name? No, I can't remember. Oh, well, I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments who that is. Oh, and of course, our conflicted dark hero himself, Kylo Ren. That's all the clubs. What do we have on the Ace of Clubs? Oh, we've got Darth Vader's little ship there. King of Hearts we have, who's that meant to be? And old Luke, yeah, it's his lightsaber, so yeah, I guess so. Oh, Princess Leia herself, of course, the queen. And then, yes, the man who shot first. And then, right here we have the Millennium Falcon. It's so gorgeous. And I'm guessing that this pack is gonna be similar, just with a different back. Fans just as nicely. Let's have a look. Yep, that seems to be the same. All right, so the faces are exactly the same. The details on all of the cards, it's just like a different back. I love like the jewel shades on each of them, you know, that's sort of like light and dark on each of the uh, pips on the cards. A gorgeous pack. I feel like I need to show you a quick card trick while I'm here, so why not? Captain Solo, do you know why he's so good at getting away? Because when you least expect it, he does. Wee. Yeah, okay. I thought that was cool. Actually, rip C-3PO for not getting represented as one of the Jokers. Seems a little unfair. And for my final present, this guy. <laughs> this guy. Oh, let's lift the camera. That's right. I got a little keyboard. It doesn't look very little, um, but it is, I believe it's only 61 keys. It's also highly portable. You can pair this thing with like six AA batteries and apparently it doesn't sound too bad. So let's give it a go. Ooh, there we go. Let's put this knife away because safety first kids. Ugh. That's gonna be our music stand. I'll set this aside for later. And I can feel a little handle there. Oh, good little squeak. There she is, the keyboard herself. She's gorgeous. What? Ah, I see. Extra bit of tape. Just to hold the keys down, I'm guessing. Whoa, what a weird thing. That was not a pleasant sound. So this thing definitely isn't super light, but as far as keyboards go, it's pretty good. I think it's like maybe three kilos or something. That's that battery compartment I was telling you about. Six AA batteries and that's it. Powering this whole thing is incredible. I'm actually gonna do this using power. So there we go right there. And one thing I love is that the music stand uses the whole of the handle as its little installation section. How cool is that? I'm pretty nervous about this. Let's see how it goes. Powering up. Oh, I forgot about that. That's right, I got the version that lights up. Look at that. It's so good. That is fun. What else does this thing do? All right, a metronome. Can I change the beat? My setup. I probably should read the thing before. Oh, wow. If you press sustain, like without the pedal, it just holds, holds those notes for you. I don't think I'll play that way because I like using my sustain pedal, but that's pretty cool. I'm really digging this dial. Honky tonk. Harpsichord! 
Oops. <laughs> I'm trying to play this like looking through um, my phone camera. Dude, there's like hundreds in here. That's crazy. How far does it actually go? I could be here for a while. All right, 400. Standard set one. It's actually usually down the bottom where the drums are. Yep. That's like exactly the same as the digital piano I had growing up. That's so much fun. Anyway, thank you for watching. I feel like it's appropriate for me to end with a song. I have no idea what I should play though. Okay, I just Googled random song generator and it said if I just like press it, it just comes up with like eight different songs. So then where do I see the songs? Oh, here. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yummy. <laughs> Playing yummy with this. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't even know that song very well. Cause you got that yummy, 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 yummy. Is that like the only word in this song? What am I doing with my life? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this birthday gift unboxing. It was really nice that you could come to my party uh, and be here with me as I did this. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please do so. This is the kind of random stuff that I produce, music, cubing, just fun stuff to basically put a smile on people's faces and I don't know, just inspire you to want to be creative and weird. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.